Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to my GM episode three. Things are going down. This episode is getting a little saucy. Basically, my six is his ass out here in these streets. Uh, we gave up Thaddeus Young, and we are about to fall apart. So what I can tell you guys is I may purchase this VC. No, I'm lying. I'm not going to purchase the VC. I promise. I promise to God I will not go on PayPal and drop this $20. Praise God. Please, Lord Jesus, don't let me drop this $20. Oh, it's so hard out here in these streets. We are at the end of the cycle of this game. This is the last month. I'm out here trying to do this my GM, and Sam Hankey ain't doing nothing right. I ain't even made it to level 20 yet. I'm like the lowest guy on the totem pole right now. I'm so serious. Like, straight up. Like, I'm dead serious. But check it out. This episode, I'm going to be giving you guys some special abilities and attribute updates, as well as some Sam Hankey interviews, and I'm also going to be dropping a game within the middle of this video. So I hope you guys will be entertained. It's about to go down, but check this out. I got about probably almost 4,000 VC starting off in this video, right? And I got to upgrade all these different attributes in order to get these special abilities now i know that some people are like well you really don't need the special abilities i want the special abilities i need to be that guy i'm trying to be like magneto and x-men like i'm trying to be all over the place right now like but let me tell y'all guys something i make probably about the dumbest decisions any gm has ever made in their career check this out i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened before it even happened so I'm purchasing special abilities, right? And I'm looking at the different tiers and I'm like, okay, so I have to purchase a certain amount of attribute upgrades in order to grab that one special ability. So, you know, I'm getting emotional intelligence and everything like that. I'm like, all right, let me see. I need to do this. I need to get this. Okay, level six. All right, cool. So I start buying my emotional intelligence. I'm like, all right, let me grab this level two. And let's see if I have enough VC to grab level three, level four, level five, and level six. So as I'm looking, I'm like, ah, nah, man, I need like a level nine business savvy in order to purchase like different buildings and stuff like this. So I'm like, all right, well, how about I go to business savvy? Then I look at another one. And I'm like, no, I need like level. I'm like, oh my God. So I end up losing my mind and I ended up buying all level ones of every tier. So I got level one training, level one coach. I mean, not coaching, but level one, uh, scouting level one business savvy i just i i totally botched my entire plan while i was playing like you ever played a game and you lose your train of thought you're like all right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and then somebody call your name and then you're like all right all right, all right cool and then you come back to the game you're like all right where the fuck was i that that was my face that was totally my face this entire time but check it out man i got five of my eight abilities which isn't that bad but look right here. This is where I F up at. I start getting all the level ones. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I need to get this level one training. I need to be able to fire, fire this trainer because he ain't doing the right things out here. We out here losing these games. But <laughs> before I hop into the actual meat of this video, before we get into Sam Hinky mode, I can tell you guys that we are currently four and six. I have simulated every game. Um, if you guys saw my last my GM video, you guys can see there that I did simulate. But one big thing that you guys were telling me inside the comment section of the last video is that the videos aren't long enough. So I've decided to actually put in the the raw meat. Ew, did that, did that sound weird? Okay, I decided to put the raw meat into this video. I want to show you guys me upgrading attributes, upgrading special abilities, and now, we are about to hop into Sam Hinky mode because, of course, I don't have enough VC to support my uh, addiction right now. I'm trying to get these special abilities. But I'll be right, right back, guys. Let's get into Sam Hinky mode. Hey, Sam. I wanted to let you know we have a game against Sammy Dallenberg coming up. He's currently ranked number one in blocks. We should adjust our game plan to keep him in check. All right, so there's one thing that I will not do, and that is back down from a challenge. Now, this is the funny thing. The team we're currently going up against, you saw their record. If you didn't see their record, please rewind this video. That's right. Drag the cruiser back. 
and look at their record. So I'm like, hold on. Maybe we should run and gun, shoot some mid-range jump shots, make sure we crash the offensive glass in the paint, you know, kicking it out. But then I was like, it's Samuel Dallenberg. How is he leading the league in blocks? I could I could understand it, but at his age, like he's not even in his prime no more. But you know me, man. I'm always trying to go against the grain. I said, man, look, I'm not changing nothing. I'm gonna keep it balanced. I'm gonna keep everything on average. And I'm just gonna do what I do. But um, you guys will see how that goes, you know? Did I make the right decision? Leave it in the comment section. Let me know if I made the right decision or not. That's all. <laughs> I'm a terrible GM. Let's go, Sam Hankey. <laughs> I think I know what to do to keep Dallin Bear in check and made some adjustments. Let's hope it works. All right. So, just to let you guys know what happened here. We lost. We took the L. Yep. Time to simulate to the next game. And I'm getting a call from the Brooklyn Nets GM. Oh, really? Hey, how are you, Sam? I have a trade proposal I'd like you to look over. <laughs> Y'all see this trade proposal? Sean Livingston, are you serious, Mr. No Clutch? Mr. We Not Gonna Move On in the Playoffs? Mr. I Missed from Point Blank Range? Are you crazy? Sorry, Dana. I'm not looking to deal at this time. That's okay. Maybe we could work something out another time. All right, so just to let you guys know, I lost <laughs> again. So that's three in a row. Let's see if we can go for four. Hey Sam, if we want our players to take it to the next level, we need to upgrade our weight room ASAP. It'll cost a little up front, but it'll pay off on the court exponentially. I think our team stacks up just fine with the rest of the league. We can manage as is for now. I'll tell the team to tough it out then. I guess we'll have to rely on stamina or just plain old luck. <laughs> Bad news Sam. Unfortunately, team chemistry seems pretty low these days. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say our chemistry level is at 3%. I thought it would be best to let you know. I know we're in a bit of a rough spot, but I believe we can turn it around. I trust in your ability to get this team where it needs to be, so don't lose sight of that. I know we can work harder and try to make some improvements. I'll take care of it. Team chemistry looks to be a real problem in the locker room. What's going on here? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. We ass! And the words of X Chase Money. <laughs> like they say, winning fixes everything. We just need to win some more games and the good times will roll. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to play a game because I'm not going to go on a five game losing streak. Let's go. Me versus the Pacers. Who going to win? Yo, what's going on everybody? It's time. I'm going up against Andrew Bynum and the Pacers. Now the Pacers are fully loaded. They got Paul George, Evan Turner, Lance Stevenson, Davis, Hibbert, Bynum. They got everybody on their team. But that doesn't stop me and Noel. Oh my God. I can just tell you right now. Playing with Noel and Michael Carter Williams? That's like a dream team in 2K. Somebody that can throw the assist and somebody that can catch the alley-oop. That's all you really need to win in this game. But check out Paul George's. He can't get the layup to go. We out on a fast break. And you know Michael Carter Williams going straight to the rim. Look at the little guy. Come on, man. You can't hold me, baby. I'm like 6'5". <laughs> nah, but I will tell y'all that the Sixers do have good three-point shooters for the game. But they don't have a good overall team. Like a lot of people say, man, I can't play with the six of their ass. Okay, we may be ass, but we can hit some shots. I'm about to show you how good we are when it comes to these shots. Look at this. He don't even want to guard the three-point shot. So Williams is, of course, going to nail this three-point shot. If you don't want to put on the pressure, if you don't want to put a hand up, it's going to be over all game long. But it's hard guarding Lance Stevenson and Paul George. These dudes move so fluid. 
And did you see the behind the back pass by Lance Stevenson? It's crazy. But Michael Carter Williams and the Sixers ain't done. I'm just trying to set things up. See who gets left alone. Now, they don't double team, so I'll give it that one to the new guy. Don't even know who he is. But he does get the and one to go. That's what I'm talking about. Right before the half. It's good to go into the half up, right? Let's let's go to halftime real quick. Glad you're spending Saturday night with us. Let's check out what's happened so far. For the Philadelphia 76ers, they have the lead against the Pacers out in Indiana. It's been a tough start for them this season, looking to get back on the winning track. Michael Carter-Williams with some valuable contributions. He's got seven points and is also helping set the table who's ready to eat. And doing their best to stay alive, the Indiana Pacers. Great activity defensively. They're taking measured risks, trying to force turnovers, putting a lot of pressure on that end of the floor. Some great work out there by Paul George. He has eight points and also has contributed with his passing, making some assists. Let's start off with a peek at some games scheduled for later on. The Hawks playing out at Phillips Arena. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the start of the second half, it is 38 to 36. Like I told you guys, we trying to stay up. Even though he didn't make that three-point shot, we getting the rebounds. Davies should have got fouled. He should have been at the line for an and one. But we are the Sixers. They're not going to give us calls in Indiana. But look at me still pulling up. I don't even care right now. But when you pull up for threes, easy fast breaks happen. So the Pacers do come back down. Nail a nice little layup. It's all good, though, man. We playing defense. But check out what happens while I'm trying to get my defensive sets on, man. Lance Stevenson nails the baller beater going into the fourth quarter. It's crazy, man. I'm, I'm so mad. But check this out, though. Like the way I fast forward and we're just magically up nine. See what had happened was, right? Those cheesy threes from my Sixers was getting knocked down. So we have a nine point lead. It's three minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth. And they got skull again, the inbound passes. But check out Lance Stevenson trying hard, getting his stuff blocked. Noel is a beast in the paint. Look, we still blocking shots. Oh, yeah. But guess what? They do get the layup to go. It's just not enough, man. If you can't block and grab a rebound at the same time, you're going to lose that battle all day long. But check out Noel in the paint. Peace, I'm telling y'all. Noel could have went for 50 tonight if I wanted to. Like, if I was playing on 12-minute quarters, he would have had 50. Michael Carter Williams would have had 50. And check out the cookies by Michael Carter Williams. And check out Anderson going off the backboard to himself. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We throwing a pig out here in these streets. They can't mess with us. Nah, but... That is the final, guys. We came out, won the game. We did not go to a five-game skid. We won 69-57. Hope you guys like the gameplay. I'll be right back after these highlights, man. Well, Gerald, we know you demand a lot of yourself and expect a lot from the team. What is the focus you guys have to have to keep the level of play up where you want it to be? Uh, we just got to keep working at it. You know, um... You know, we, we play really hard, but, you know, so you're going to make your mistakes. But we just got to stay disciplined and keep working with each other. Playing hard such a key factor. Gerald, thank you so much, guys. Sucky, sucky now. Let's check out some game stats. Let's see what happened. Paul George had 10. Stevenson had 8. Bynum had 7. Scola had 6. But check out our stats, though. Williams had 14. He went 5 for 8. You know he was knocking down them tree balls. But Nerlens Noel is still, without a doubt, a beast in the paint. 
He feasts, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have to say it here. He feasts. But check this out, man. I know it's going to be something crazy. I can already tell by the loading screen. Time to get back into Sam Hinky mode, baby. Let's go. You're not going to like this, Sam. But Henry Sims has an injury bruised tailbone one to two weeks. He can play through it, but it may cause him to aggravate it. What do you want to do? Thanks, Kevin. Go ahead and let the head coach handle this as he sees fit. Thanks. I will let coach know. Yeah.